Hello, my name is Russell Hausen. I want to welcome you to part five of our piano disc installation. I'm going to review how to set up the piano once it's in your home and how to connect the iPod. Once the movies arrive and the piano is set up like this, you're going to locate the power cord. The power cord is underneath the piano and basically it's one plug. You're going to plug it into the wall as right here is plugged into an extension cord. Then there's a power supply underneath this side of the piano. We'll have a red button. You want to make sure that is turned on. Then you need to locate this wire. This wire is underneath the piano and it's connected to this unit, piano disc IQ. Take the end that's not plugged into the IQ and plug it into your iPod. You can either plug it into the base that we send with the iPod or plug it directly into the iPod itself. It's nice to plug it into the base because then you can set the iPod right here and you could use the small remote that comes with the unit to operate the piano. Again, this is the IQ and this is very important and if you need to know, uh, the other end of this wire gets plugged into line input. So I'm going to operate the piano for you right now. You will turn the iPod on and you could uh, select one of the songs and right here we have now there is a pause button on this small remote and your volume. It's a lot easier to con control the functions of the iPod with this remote than it is on here. So try to use the remote as, as much as possible. Now the only thing that you can't do with this remote, you can't go back through the menus and pick another album. But you can go, uh, you can select the song that's next, or you can select the song that's before by pressing the forward or back, backward buttons. selections I'm playing right now are, is music with piano and background music. The speaker underneath the piano is set up at uh, a preset volume that we set here. Now you can adjust that yourself by going underneath and you'll see the three buttons on the speaker. One will be for volume, one will be for treble, and one will be for bass. Uh, you know, it, it depends on the way you like it, but generally once you set it, that should be fine. And uh, you know, you can uh, control the volume of the piano and the speaker together also with this remote once you have the volume set. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any other questions how to operate the piano, feel free to give me a call anytime. And I can walk you through it.